morning, my babies. How are y'all doing? Hello, hello, hello. How are y'all doing? Sharice Johnson Moore here, back with another daily devotional. That's right, I'm back. I'm back. Okay? So, this morning, we're going into Genesis 2, 1 through 25. And, oh, sit back, relax, child. And just listen to the words real carefully. Real carefully. The title of this one is. Walking Naked with God. Walking Naked with God. Okay. Alright babies. I hope y'all are are enjoying. Hope you come to sit down to take notes. Okay. And get your word in for the day. Okay? I thank you for coming. And here we go. Good morning, good morning to you. Good morning to you. Good morning, babies. How are y'all doing? Welcome to Daily Devotional for September the 6th, 2021, child. And today we're going to start off with Genesis 2, 1 through 25. And it reads... Thus the heavens and the earth were finished. And all the hosts of them. And on the seventh day, God ended his work which he had made. And he rested on the seventh day from all his works which he had made. And God blessed the seventh day and sanctified it because that in it he had rested for from all of his work which God created and made. These are the generations of the heavens and of the earth when they were created in the day that the Lord God made the earth and the heavens and every plant of the field before it was in the earth and every herb of the field before it grew for the Lord God had not caused it to rain upon the earth and there was not a man to till the ground But there went up a mist from the earth and watered the whole face of the ground. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. And the man became a living soul. And the Lord God planted a garden eastward in Eden. And there he put the man whom he had formed. And out of the ground made the Lord God to grow every tree that is pleasant to the sight. And good for food. The tree of life also in the midst of the garden. And the tree of knowledge of good and evil. And a river went out of Eden to water the garden. And from thence it was parted and became into four heads. The name of the first is Pison. That is it which passes the whole land of Havilah where there is gold and the gold of that land is good there is 
Vidulum and the onyx stone. And the name of the second river is Gion. The name the same is it that compasses the whole land of Ethiopia. And the name of the third river is Hydeco. That is it which goeth toward the east of Assyria. And the fourth river is Euphrates. And the Lord God took the man and put him into the garden of Eden to dress it and to keep it. And the Lord God commanded the man, saying, Of every tree of the garden thou mayest freely eat. But of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. And the Lord God said, It is not good that man should be alone. I will make him an help mate meet for him. And out of the God out of the ground the Lord God formed every beast of the field and every fowl of the air, and brought them unto Adam to see what he would call them. And whatsoever Adam called every living creature, that was the name thereof. And Adam gave names to all cattle, and to the fowl of the air, and to every beast of the field. But for Adam there was not found and help meet for him. And the Lord God caused a deep sleep a deep sleep to fall upon Adam and he slept and he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh instead thereof and the rib which the Lord God had taken from man made he a woman and brought her unto the man and Adam said This is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman because she was taken out of man. Therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother and shall cleave unto his wife and they shall be one flesh. And they were both naked, the man and his wife and were not ashamed. They were not ashamed. When God creates, there's nothing to be ashamed of. God created you there was nothing to be ashamed of. Oh, dear Heavenly Father, we thank you. In my name of Jesus, we say thank you, Lord. We say thank you, Lord, for just being you. Being who you are. Being the almighty, the all-powerful, the omnipresent, the omnipotent. You know, it's just a list could go on and on, Lord. We could just... Just give you highest praise in all the earth. We should give you praise because you made us. You made us out of your image and your creation, your time, your thought, your process. You give us so many things to be happy about. Lord, we just say thank you for the day. 
We just say thank you, Lord, for allowing us this just this one day, this one, this one, this, this one, just this one thing. Creation, creating us for your purpose and your glory. And we thank you, Lord, for just allowing us to see this one day, just this day right here. So. I want to say thank you, Lord. Thank you for thank you. Just thank you. <laughs> I don't, I just want to say thank. You. I just say thank you. Thank you, Lord, for all you've done for us. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading of His Word. Amen. 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 <laughs> God made us so we don't have to be ashamed. God made us we don't have to be ashamed. God made us and and especially us women, you know, it, it's you know, it's you know, it's this thing of God made us from Adam called woman. And you know, because this is our beginning. This is what God is. This is what God is when we really sit back and look at his glory. Look, just take take time out to look at what he has done. He says on the seventh day. On the seventh day. And we go to two and two. And on the seventh day, God ended his work, which he had made. And he rested on the seventh day from all his work, which he had made. And God blessed the seventh day, sanctified it, because it is, because that in, in it, he had rested from all his work, which God created and made. And then I guess, you know, and then it goes into this part where he says, okay, well, um, it goes into this part where, okay, well, I want to, I want to form a man. It's, it's, you know, I want to, I want to have somebody to keep it for me. I want somebody to keep it for me. I want somebody to till the ground. I want somebody to be there to take care of what I have made. So he makes man, and then he makes woman out of man, and they put them together, and they and 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 there he puts them in this pretty beautiful place. Have you ever been in a pretty beautiful place that you've never been to before, and you're so like, it's like a free in place, a place that's free, that has no bounds, that has no, and and it's just it's like a, a weight lifted off of your shoulders, really. They did they I'm 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 talking about modern day us. I'm not talking about Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve had it made. They all right, we in the garden, they ain't had no work, they ain't had no bills, they ain't had no gotta tend to the children right now. I don't have to, I don't have to worry about having houses. I don't have to worry about paying rent or or, or worrying about they, is they, am I gonna get social security when I'm sixty five? They ain't had to worry about none of that, none of that, none of that, right? And they're in this place, and God has made this place. God said, okay, well, I need somebody to help me. I, I need somebody to watch out over it for me. You know, I, I want to, I, I need some help. So I'm going I'm to I'm make me some help. I'm, I'm, I'm a, this ground needs tilling. It needs, uh, needs, it needs working. It needs, needs somebody to till it means to rejuvenate or 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 uh, teal. Teal means to rotate. Teal means to rotate. I mean rotate the dirt. You know, like really get it to like bring it up, bring it over, bring it out, bring it over, bring it up, bring it up, bring it up, bring it over, bring it out. 
that's what tilling is. It's over and over and over again. Just, just you know. But um, so, and God creates this masterpiece that is out of this world. Okay. And they, and and the last verse it says, and they were both naked, a man and wife the man and wife, and were not ashamed. They, they didn't even care about they were naked. They didn't care if they had no clothes on. They didn't care. If they, it wasn't, that wasn't their concern. God had put them in a place where you do not feel ashamed. Have, has you, I, I, ooh, that's, that's a word right there. That Okay, so... Has God ever put you in a place that you did not feel ashamed? God can do that for you. He can put you in a place where you do not feel ashamed anymore. Once it's like the burdens are lifted off of your shoulders. The burdens are lifted off of your shoulders. And it's it's so amazing how God can just lift you up and say, all right, don't worry about that no more. Man, that ain't that. That's old stuff. Stop worrying about that old stuff. You know, don't don't worry about that. You know, don't don't stress yourself about that. God can suddenly take that away from you and give you a peace that peace like no understanding. Where well, you don't feel ashamed, you don't feel you don't feel vulnerable. You don't feel like people are judging you. It's it's like, oh well, whatever. Like it, it, you know, it's like that, like water off a back, off water off a duck's back, as they say. Like it don't bother me. I don't, I don't care about that. Like when, when people try to throw your past in your face, or or throw all this stuff up in your face, and they 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 trying to hurt you, and you be like, and oh, what else you got? Um. Yeah, I know that. Tell me something I don't know. <laughs> and God has settled you. God has settled you in a position where you do not feel ashamed. You do not feel, uh, oh, oh, I gotta cover my face. I gotta put on. I gotta put on clothes. I can't see my skin. And 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 I, I got. I you know I gotta cover up. I gotta I gotta go somewhere. And I I gotta be in secret. And I gotta hide. And I gotta God can lift that for you. He can have you walk around here naked and you don't even kill. Like, yeah, I'm an open book. What you want to know? You know, like, you know, like I have nothing to hide. I don't have any, I, I don't, I don't, you know, you, you can, you know, you can hurt me with all the stuff you can say, but I know who holds my future. I know who holds my future in my hand. God, because God made me. God made me in his image. God made me to be his creation, his creation, to be a creator. The creation has to create. And I can walk around here and I don't have no ambition, no inhibitions. <clears throat> no inhibitions. Like, yeah, I used to be a prostitute, and I used to be a crackhead, and I used to be a heroin addict, and I used to be a, 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 a what do you call it, whoremonger, and God can take all that away from you because you will know who he is. You know who you belong to. And he has to set you aside just for the time as this. Just as the time is this. You know, and, and it's it's so amazing that sometimes we get caught up into what other people say and what they're doing. And, oh, this, this person said this about me. And this person said that about me. And this person said that. And you ain't even asked yourself, what did God say? 
Did God say that about you? God ain't say that about me. I ain't answering it. I ain't, I don't, I ain't answering it that. But God has set you on a path that you do not have to be ashamed of. Yes, you sin. Yes, you are falling. Yeah, you fall down seven times, but you got back up, okay? It, it's not the falling down. It's if you getting back up or not. You know, don't feel ashamed. Don't feel ashamed for people that don't have a heaven or hell to put you in. You no, know that, that I mean that's that's the thing. Stop worrying about what everybody else thinks. And you walk out here naked and you walk in your glory and you walk in your stand, you walk in your presence, you walk in to everything that God has for you. Out here naked. Yeah, naked. You walk out here. Everybody is seeing. Everybody is. But you walk out here naked and have no inhibitions and say, oh, well, I'm here for God and God only. That's what you tell them. That's what you do. That's what your actions do. That's what you. Everything geared towards God. Geared, 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 geared towards God. I know. I know in my in in my walk with God, I've decided to do what He asked me to do. That's what you say to yourself. I'm not worrying about what what Anne, Sue, Mary Jane, John, Billy, Bob, Willie, anybody, do, whatever they doing. That's on them. Cause everybody got a, everybody has a day of answering to God when they go when they go in front of Him. So, I want you to go out today. Go out and get this understanding that you have nothing to be ashamed of. Walk in God's glory. And anybody call, I give Satan all, give him, give him, give Satan the fight of his life. Give Satan fight of his life because Satan is always bringing up old stuff oh well you did this and oh you did that oh you did this and and, and you did this and, and Satan can you come up with something else please this is really like getting old here you know and <laughs> you know I'll go out today and just be your beautiful, loving, caring self. You care for people? Show that. Don't walk out here in shame. If you if you like helping people, do that. If you like knitting and sewing and volunteering and 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 going and volunteering in nurse home or volunteering at the women's home shelter or or doing or or something. That brings other people happiness because you're happy when they're happy. And, you know, if it brings you happiness, it's all about joy, joy, joy. Do that. Don't sit around and be moping. Don't, I'm, I'm telling you, don't sit around and mope about anything. Because God gave you too much to sit around and be mad, complaining, sad, all that other crap. He's giving you too much. Look at the daylight. He's giving you day. He's giving you day. He's giving you day. He's giving you a brand new day. So enjoy your day. Okay, babies. And I love you. And don't be ashamed to walk around naked in the glory of the Lord. Bye, babies. Y'all have a nice day. babies, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, it's just, our time is up, I'm so sorry, but I will be back tomorrow with another daily devotional for you, okay, I want to say thank you, 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 thank you for 
allow me to spend time with you and allow me to take up space in your private domain and your private quarters. I thank you so much for allowing me to be me. This is something that I don't take for granted. It's something that God placed in my heart to do. So, hey, just do it and be good at it, okay? All right, um, I want to send a shout out to my friend and colleague, Miss Wanda D. Hollis, okay? And I'm keeping you in my prayers. I pray for all the people that I know, and I pray that you have a blessed day, baby, okay? Um, I want to say, if you are an entrepreneur, you have a business, I don't care if you make candles or paper or stationery or gum, okay? You may come to my podcast and advertise your business on my podcast, Okay, so I'm opening that door. I'm opening. The door is open. The church, the church, church doors are open. So, okay, and if you want to more uh, advertising about your church or your church programs or, you know, your events you're having, I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> okay, so I love y'all and I will keep you in my prayers. I love you, and you have a blessed day. Bye, babies.